What's going on friends? It's Rob Pelton here and I have a little a little war by a Ridge Runner hack. It's something that I found just recently and it's really helped to design and it's really helped and it's really designed to help prevent the spreader bars on your Ridge Runner from damaging your tarp. What am I talking about? Let's take a look. For those of you who have been following my channel, you know I sleep in hammocks, and more specifically, the War Bonnet Ridge Runner hammock. It's a bridge style hammock. A bridge meaning this bar bridges that gap and gives you a flatter lay. Now, these bars are nice for that, but you can see right on the ends, there's a little, a little tip here that could possibly puncture your tarp. Because a lot of times when you get in your hammock, the back, of the, en the back end of the hammock swings back like that, which can come in contact with your tarp. A little sharp tip, sill poly, could be kind of a disaster for you out in the field. And there have been a lot of different gadgets out on the market to help cover this little, this little tip, you know, from protect, so it could protect your, oh, holy shit. There are a few little hacks and a little gadgets on the market that were designed to kind of go over these from, you know, pieces of uh, bicycle inner tube that can fit in here. There's all kinds of just little things. I found something recently by a company called Fugal, F-U-G-A-L, very small company. Um, I saw these and I just ordered them. They come in a set of four, but they're designed specifically for this purpose. So we're gonna take a closer look at that. So Fugal Innovations. It only took a few days for it to get here in the mail. So Fugal slash innovations.com. I'll put a link to these down in the description of this video but it's a very simple little gadget designed to fit into the suspension of where those poles go through and it covers up those, those tips. And they got some serious packaging. Let's try that. Now, I don't know anybody from Fugal. They didn't send me these. They don't even know I'm doing a video on it, but I saw them and they look pretty genius. So a little invoice here from them. For a pack of four, they were 15 bucks. Throw in another, you know, $3.50 for shipping. So $18.50 for a set of four. And they kind of like little, they look like little washers. And this is the first time I'm seeing them. I've only seen a short video on their website. But they're kind of a, a little button, right? You can see the hole and they're a harder Plastic. I thought they would be a little bit more rubbery, but no, they're they're a hard plastic. So let's take a look at these and how they install onto the onto the hammock. This is the first time I'm going to try this, so it's probably going to go disastrous. So let's let's <laughs> let's take a look. On the hammock, the little spreader bar pins they go through a little loop on the suspension of of the hammock, and the suspension ties in, you know, to the webbing on the actual hammock. Now this little loop here, I'm not sure if you can see that. That's where this little button fits into. How challenging it's gonna be, I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, I, I see, okay. So it's got these little ridges. You see that, kind of like little two little hooks? That's where both sides of the loop are gonna fit. So I imagine you gotta hook one in, hopefully. Yeah, okay. I can already tell it's gonna be a super tight fit. Now, what's the weight on these? I have no idea, but pretty negligible. You're, it's not gonna, it's not gonna break your base weight or anything on your hammock. But these are really tough. They're really tight. <laughs> All right, so I finally got one in. It took me like five minutes. I had to use like a key. If you had a pair of needle nose pliers, that would probably help, but it fits right into the loop. Okay, I got two of them in, and holy hell, are those little things hard as shit to get those in. My fingers are tired and tingly. I got a whole other side to do. <sighs> All right, so, I got the foot end done, and these little things 
are hard as hell to get into those loops. My fingers are tired and fatigued, uh, but the foot end is done. I still got to do the head end. But now, these little tips fit right in and done. That's actually way easier. Normally you have to kind of spread those little loops apart to get those, those bar tips in. With these, they, they slip right in. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Once you get them in, it's really nice. And done. So these four little buttons, these little insignificant plastic buttons took a half hour. These things are in here. Uh, they're not going anywhere. So they stay attached to your hammock in those loops. You do not want to be taking these in and out. It's damn near impossible. It, seriously, I thought about just giving up so many times. <laughs> but they are in, it is done. So be forewarned, I had to use car keys to kind of help, but like I said, needle nose players would probably help. But they're in and they're done. And that's it. I'm not worried about those little bar pins threatening my fly. Whether it's a Sil Poly, Sil Nylon, or one of the Dyneema tarps, poking a hole in those things can be disastrous out on the, on the trip. So when these bump up against this, there's a nice broad, flat area. No risk in puncturing this thing. They're, they're pretty handy. They are a bitch to get in. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was hard. I thought about giving up. But they're in. It stays attached to the hammock. They are good to go. If you have any questions about these, feel free to leave those questions, comments down in the comment area. I haven't taken them out on a trip. You know pretty much what I know at this point, but they are a pretty cool little gadget. I'll leave a link to where you can get them down in the description. Hopefully they bring you some use and best of all, save your tarps. Thanks for watching. Get outside. Backpacking season is on its way. Take care.